So passing rates. Passing rates. AFK passing rates? AFK, yeah, for AFK. AFK. Passing so rates. results came out. Yes. We've been waiting it for a while. Took mm-hmm. a long time this time. And how do you feel about the results we had? I feel great. How do you feel? I feel good too. Yes, yeah. we had a good outcome. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the people we predicted to pass, we could say 90, almost 93% of those people passed. Mm-hmm. Um, but it comes down to how you calculate also the passing rate. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Like how many people did we have on this cycle that went to the exam? Like around 20? No, no, um, no, 40. More than that. 40, maybe 40. Yeah. We had to, uh, like, yeah, and we could say maybe if you look at it, all the total students you're saying. Yeah. Like, if we count the total number of students that took the course and went to the exam. Mm-hmm. I think it was around like 40. Yeah, and half of them passed. So yeah. some people look at that and go, okay, is that the passing rate? You know, half yeah. half the students. What? People never know. Like, what is the passing rate? Like, from all your students, like 93% passed? Mm, yes. And I'm yes pretty and sure no. in consoles, that's like the most yes. uh, frequently asked question. You it know? is. Yeah. People want to know. They just yeah. want to know like what, what's like, how good is your, inst- they, they base um, their assumptions, I guess, like on your institute, like based on the passing rate. Yeah. I, you know, so, I never yeah. liked the concept of it because it always gives like this idea that it's a cookie cutter, like whatever happened, that cycle is going to replicate 100% this cycle. Yeah. And that's never true for really anything. Like mm-hmm. you, you can't because the questions in the exam could be different. The students you get could be different, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and it varies from person to person. So like I honestly never looked at passing rate. What do you look for? Like when you looked at, I what looked, do you say? I honestly, I looked for a course that, I was, that was entirely online. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I needed a course like I needed the flexibility. I have three kids, so I needed a flexible yeah. course for my schedule. And and we do the AFK and obviously course like online. a yeah. course that had you know qual- the qualifications, good. everything like good content. So it's like the user experience, the yeah. student experience. They're happy with it. Reviews, reviews, I looked at reviews. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> and understanding the concept. So if we yeah. go back, so yes, those are the things you want to consider mainly. I guess, but. You know, because people want to know some sort of passing rate, mm-hmm. we have to kind of implement that system and understand, yeah. okay, what is the passing rate? So if you look at, you're saying if you take all the students that took the exam, mm-hmm. that could be called like the general passing rate. Yeah. And usually that's something that institutes don't talk about. Exactly. Nobody talks about. So you only see like the above 90%, right? Yeah. For every institute. So, so is it, is does that mean that everyone... Taking the course, like 90% of those people are passing? No. No, of course not. Because not everybody that takes the course is qualified to take the AFK exam. Yeah, that's what people need to understand. Exactly. So (laughs) exactly. (laughs) when someone asks you in the, let's say in a consult and they go, what's your passing rate? What would be like your reaction to that? How would you answer that? I mean, you could answer it confidently, but you could. Yeah, I... Like, I'm, we're happy with the results from this cycle. So I confidently tell them the 93%. Because yeah. that's what they actually want to know. Like, mm-hmm. they don't want to know the general passing rate. Because they mm-hmm. will compare that to yeah. the, what they heard about the other, other institutes. Yes. So, yeah. And I feel confident that the way we calculate the passing rate is a fair way. Mm-hmm. Do you want to yeah, so like break it down, maybe? We could break it down because each institute will have a criteria yeah. And they, this is what they call the adjusted passing rate, mm-hmm. or some may call it that way. So it's like yeah. you take into consideration certain candidates mm-hmm. and you calculate a passing rate off of that, right? Um, because it's fair to take into consideration how much did that student or you know training dentist prepare, prepare yeah. use the course, maximize yeah. the potential. If you're, let's say, working full time and you can't get through the course... It's not fair to consider we, that person in the passing rate. Exactly, because we don't think you should take the exam. Exactly. So it's fair, but people kind of generalize. Some people want to know the general idea. Mm-hmm. And what we do is our criteria is based off the mock average, the evaluation test average. We have an evaluation test and a mock average. And if you met both criteria, for us, it was 100% of those passed. Yeah, 100%. 100% of mm-hmm. those people that met the criteria for both passed. Um, of course, we don't say it's 100% passing rate because we're trying to take a reasonable mm-hmm. approach. We see the criteria for the mo- for the evaluation test alone. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where we have the 93% passing rate, yeah. right? Um, but if you look at 
the general, what, what do you think? Like if you look at the major, the just everyone. Uh huh. Even if you look at our general passing rate for this cycle, I think it's really good. Like it's a, a little above like fifty percent. Yeah, taking into consideration it's everyone. It's really good. Because yeah. we, we, what happened is, so we could, we actually tell students, you know, you the people that are below this mar this uh, score, you're you're pa you, it's fifty fifty for you. Like you yeah. might not pass, so don't go if you unless you want to go take the risk. Get the experience. It's your first attempt. Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. But if you want our advice, that like when you, you need hit to that be above this a certain a number. score. Yeah, exactly. A number. And yeah, I do so tell people that in the consults as well. I'm like, the passing rate is this. This is not a guaranteed pass, right? Like when you mm -hmm. sign up for any course, no one can, will guarantee you a pass. Mm -hmm. They, we may have ways of supporting someone who didn't pass. But we can't guarantee a pass. Mm -hmm. But what I tell them is, at the end of the course, we're going to evaluate your your you know um, performance and studying and advise of the course, you, like yeah, how well you studying, studied the course itself, and advise you if we think it's prudent or not for you to go to the exam. Right? Yeah, and people that like failed from our cycle, even we followed up with them, um, and every case had some sort of you know, reason of why yeah. they failed. You know, mm -hmm. we were able to analyze. Each person is different. You can't, you know, put people in this, like, cookie, cookie cutter, cutter yeah. factory thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody, some people were working full time. They couldn't do it. Some people had different circumstances. Some people were just, like, you know, studied, but had an issue with, you know, when they deal with new questions. Yeah. So we analyzed that and we had, like, you know, uh, we, we recommended something different for each person based Put yeah. a plan for them, right? And also, we advise people, for example, you have a f around 50% chance of passing, and those people sometimes decide to just go for the exam. Just go for it. If their first attempt? So, I mean, yeah, yeah, like... As long we, as your expectation... We kind of knew yeah. that, you know, 50% of those people wouldn't pass. Exactly. And, and we told still, them still, we had, like, a great, you know, yeah. great result. So. Yeah, we're, I'm re we're, like, I'm proud of what we did last cycle. Yeah. So I was really good, and... Um, it was great teamwork. Good, great teamwork. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. It was great. I think we did a, a good thing, and um, we're hoping to achieve it, do better even mm -hmm. this cycle. Um, yes. How was the midterm test last? <laughs> it was fun, right? So, did you yeah. see when so, we? That was so good. Just give me a minute. <laughs> the live session, the live session we did yeah. was really good for them to understand. Like when you're faced with new, like a new format of questions, like what do you do? And what happens? They saw exactly what, what's going to happen. Like, oh, I'm going to yeah. get nervous and I might not get, you know, easy questions right. Yeah. So just in case, you know, people listening don't know what the midterm. Oh, so yeah. during our, our AFK cycle, mm -hmm. we decided to have, um, sorry, our AFK course. Yeah. Right after anesthesia, somewhere in middle point, we have a midterm test that tests students on pathology, pharma, and anesthesia. anesthesia yeah. um, and, you know, usually at this phase, students... We expect them to get what seventy five percent, and yeah, they, that would be a good like good yeah. score, like around seventy. 75. And some are below that, and we tell them honestly, hey, you're gonna have to improve on this, you're gonna have to improve on that, and you know, it's yeah. still early in their phase, but it was a fun experience doing the live session, given and like explain and show like the, it was very like the practical example of yes, this is what could happen in the exam, right? Like you prepare with a certain type of question, yeah. And it, like the, it's the same question, but it comes out in a different format. You may get flustered, you may get nervous, and that may impact your performance. Right? Exactly. Like it's it's yes, and th that's what happened. Like they they saw it live, how they you know misinterpreted something or Easy overthinking questions. the question, yeah. thought it was some not even some some of them could even finish. Because they were reading the long form questions so much. It was taking them so long to go through the questions. They yeah. just gave up. Some of them were like, so, <laughs> okay, I, I gave up. Like the question was so long. I just didn't even finish. It was like yeah. so much. I mean, they're still in training. They're going to get yeah. better and better. But uh, we add, we have that midterm test. And I mm -hmm. think that was a good experience. And for them too to learn from. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the second cycle. We apply this midterm test too. So. I think it really helps them. Like yeah. halfway through the course, have a test like that. <laughs> just to, you know, see like, wow. Almost knocks them off like, <laughs> like what they expect. It's a reality check a yes. little. Like, yeah. oh, I'm studying fine. I'm doing yeah. enough. Yeah. The thing is, whatever you get, 
in like evaluation tests or midterm tests, like it could be good for other exams, mm -hmm. like your level. Let's say you get like, you know, in the 80s and the or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the AFK is so competitive. The AFK exam is so competitive that even though you're at a good level, just you need to be better than that. You need to be like yeah. more than, than, than just good. 100%, right. Yeah. Like, for example, Aim someone higher. that does well in these tests, let's let's assume the evaluation test, they get 82 or something. Mm -hmm. Right. And we tell them, well, you got to get above 90. OK, 80s are good. But for AFK one above 90, maybe you'd pass the IMBD with the 80s. You know, yes. <laughs> that is true. That is true. What you, you've done the IMBD. I have. 